Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to quickly talk to you about how to install JDK 11 using Adopt Open JDK. That is before the Eclipse project takes it over and turns it into Adoptium. The best, smartest, and easiest way to install the JDK on your Windows machine is to mosey on over to adoptopenjdk.net. When you get there, you'll see this beautiful blue button that asks you to download the latest release. I would say click on that. You'll notice that it's gonna to default to JDK 11. That's the current long-term support release. Some of the newer versions with some cool features are available as well. And there's also that older one, JDK 8. You don't want that if you're doing Jakarta EE development. So I'm gonna click on that beautiful blue button now. <laughs> I actually already did. I downloaded it right there. There you go, 168 megs of bytecode beauty. I'm gonna double click on this and the installer will open up. Now you can actually just download a zip file and extract it, but on Windows, I like the MSI file. It makes things easier. And after I accept the license agreement, there's these beautiful options here. One is to change the default location. Now that default location, I don't like program files. The problem with program files, as far as I'm concerned, is it can throw off some of my scripts. I don't like that space in there. So I always install this somewhere I can keep an eye on. I have an underscore tools folder on my Windows machine, and I'll create a folder called JDK11. Hopefully we don't confuse that with JDK 1.1 from 20 years ago. I will click OK there. That changes the location for the install, but this is what I really like. Notice that I can automatically add the JDK bin directory to the path, that's money. Also, I can associate jar files with the JDK. Now, I don't know why this one is not selected because it should be. This automatically sets Java Home. A lot of programs that need Java, like Minecraft, require Java Home to be set. So definitely select that. That's probably the most important selection you'll ever make in your Java career. Now from there, I'm gonna click Next. I will click Install, allow this to install, but it goes very rapidly. It doesn't take too long to install a 168 meg file and all of a sudden it is finished. Now, this just could be razzle dazzle. This could be smoke and mirrors. Is it really installed? Well, there's a couple of ways to find out. One way is to head over into that tools folder and you can actually see the JDK and the bin directory and all of its bytecode beauty in there. Another way is to maybe go in and take a look at your system variables. I'm gonna look at my system variables, edit the system environment variables option. I'm gonna select that. I will go to environment variables and you notice Java home, that's been set. And I can also come down here and take a look at the path. If I click on edit here, you'll notice that there we go, the bin directory of the JDK has been added to the Windows path. That's a good thing as well. And now can I confirm that all of that works? I'm gonna open up a new command window. Make sure you open up a new command window because if it's an old command, it won't have the latest settings, but I should be able to echo Java home. Now would I do that on Windows? Is it percentage? I always get that mixed up with Unix, but I think it's percentage Java home percentage. And there we go. We actually see tools JDK 11 as the home directory, so that's good. And the last thing I'm gonna do here is do a little Java dash version. Now notice it's one dash for the version. Always throws me off because Git and all the other cool things are two versions. But when I ask, hey, Java, what version are you running? Not only does it respond to me, I mean, if it wasn't installed, it wouldn't respond to me. So that's how I know it's installed. But not only has it responded to me, it's very politely told, politely told me that it's version 1109 from well, looks like October 20th, 2020. Is that how uh, those months work? It looks like it, and it's uh, built on my 64-bit Windows machine. And there you go. That's how easy it is to install Open JDK and JDK 11 and prepare yourself for all sorts of Java and Jakarta EE development. And there you go. That's everything you need to know about installing JDK 11 with Adopt Open JDK. They will become Adoptium in the future, part of an, the Eclipse Foundation and Eclipse Foundation project. So you may see that name change in the future. But if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. Head over to the server side where we've got lots of great tutorials on enterprise software development. And uh, hey, subscribe on YouTube.